Good morning and welcome to Football Spy. Your regular host Darren Lewis is knee deep in Olympic work right now, so today it falls to me, Rob Burnett, to bring you all the transfer news and rumours. Unlike half the Olympic venues, the papers are all completely jam-packed this morning with coverage of the, of the London Games. So Spy is something of a bite-sized edition. But we've ferreted around and we've still managed to find you some gossip to keep you going. We start today with Manchester City and a story in our own Daily Mirror. Hard-up City boss Roberto Mancini has been lamenting his desperately thin and apparently below-par squad. The Italian claims that City have absolutely no chance of winning the Champions League with their current players and has urged the club to buy at least four new stars. This is something of a long-running battle Mancini is waging with City exec Brian Marwood, who is trying to move on some of the high-earning reserve players before splashing any more cash. However, this hasn't stopped City from making a £13 million bid for Liverpool defender Daniel Agger. Real Madrid and Barcelona are also interested, and according to Spy's own Darren Lewis, Agger himself has told the club he does want to leave. So one to keep an eye on there. Mancini's top target all summer has, of course, been Robin Van Persie. But again, in today's mirror, the Italian admits City may be slipping behind Manchester United and Juventus in the race for the Arsenal star. Elsewhere, the Sun reports that Chelsea will smash, th smash through the £100 million spending barrier this summer. They've already splashed £66 million on Eden and Thorgan Hazard, Oscar and Marco Marin, and still want to bring in one or two players, according to the Sun. The Daily Mail says that could include Napoli striker Edinson Cavani, while the Daily Express says they're still trying to tie up deals for Wigan's Victor Moses and Marseille right-back Cesar Apiliqueta. Across London at Spurs, the Sun says Luka Modric could finally be on his way after claiming Real Madrid have agreed a £36 million fee for the midfielder. The Times says Ricardo Carvalho could go the other way after the former Chelsea man was told he is surplus to requirements at the Bernabeu. Meanwhile, the Mail reports that Lyon president has told Spurs they will not sell, sell goalkeeper Hugo Lloris unless the France keeper demands a move. And finally on Spurs, the Mail says Giovanni Dos Santos could yet have a future at the club. The forward scored both goals in Mexico's Olympics win over Gabon yesterday and is set for talks with André Villas-Boas later this week when the Portuguese returns from Tottenham's pre-season tour of the USA. Up at Liverpool, two players are on their way out of Anfield, with Italian flop Alberto Aquilani close to a £7 million switch to Fiorentina, and reserve keeper Brad Jones set for a move to Norwich. Again, those stories according to the Daily Mail. And finally this morning, a couple of tales uh, on Arsenal for you. The Gunners are set to move for Southampton 17-year-old left-back Luke Shaw, according to our man Steve Stammers. Wenger has long been a keen on the defender and had him watched again in Saints Friendly with Ajax on Saturday. And finally, Arsenal's potential move for Real Madrid midfielder Nuri Sahin got a little bit more complicated today uh, as AC Milan have stepped up their interest in the Turkey player. That's all for today. Don't forget to log on to Mirror Football throughout the day for all the latest news. And if you've got an iPad, why not subscribe to the new Football Spy Daily magazine? You can get all the transfer news plus our paper gossip roundup and the Football Spy show direct to your inbox every day. And it's completely free. Check mirrorfootball.co.uk for details. More from me tomorrow. Bye for now.